building a new habit isn't about the duration of time that it takes to, that you're doing this new habit. In other words, people are asking all the time, like, how long does it take to build a new habit? And the answer isn't about time, it's about frequency. So you can create a new habit in a short amount of time if you increase the frequency that you are doing it, right? So with anything that you're trying to accomplish, if you are trying to um, have more water, right? The best way to develop the habit of drinking more water is to actually start having more water built into your routine throughout the day. It's not that it's going to take 21 days, which is a myth, or even 67 days, which was kind of like the new 21. It is really about frequency. So if you can link your water intake to something that you do regularly throughout the day, like three times a day, let's say a meal, you're gonna have a glass of water before every meal and before every snack, before you eat. Maybe that's just your new rule to build your habit. Every time before you eat, you have a glass of water, you are gonna be developing the habit more quickly of taking in more water. And guess what? When you are better hydrated, you're less likely to go into your stress response. And that means you're going to be a more responsive parent without even doing anything extra special, just drinking more water. And this, I can just share a quick story about how this worked for me. I, when I was working at the residential camp where I was in charge of 10 children and they were all diagnosed with different difficulties and different challenges and all emotionally disturbed. That was the term back then. Um, and it's where I really learned how to work with difficult kids, challenging kids of all stripes and colors. And I just love them. Um, I had just come off of my mountaineering course that I had done the summer before I was working with um, this particular group of kids who everybody was giving you a heads up, you know, the kids you're going to get this summer are going to be really, really tough. You know, they were all from the inner city of New York, uh, but this group was like really, really tough apparently. And I had worked with other kids in the past and I definitely, you know, got pushed to the brink. But what I took away, one of the big takeaways from my mountaineering course was to stay hydrated. And lo and behold, when I put, a, I only put a focus on that. Like, I was like, we are gonna be hydrated this summer. And I taught my kids how to stay hydrated and how to check for high, proper hydration. And I carried around little water cups and I was just constantly filling their water. And this was before every, before it was cool to carry around a water bottle, right? So like, we were just on top of our hydration. And our kids were, happier. They were more compliant. I was more patient. We saw amazing improvements in the kids' behavior and in our ability to deal with their misbehavior just with that simple tweak of staying hydrated. And just as a reminder, this was something we were doing frequently throughout the day. So we were all in the habit. Every time we would stop or pause or we were in between activities, this was a residential summer camp, we would pull out the cups and we would fill up and we would all... Um, have a drink together. It was really sweet. And not only was it sweet, it was also really super efficient. So I'm all for sweet things, but if they're not efficient, then why do them, right? Like I really want to help you guys be efficient. So when trying to build a new habit, it is important to go after frequency that you're doing it, not about how long it's going to take you to build that habit. So build in the reps, and as I was just recommending to link a new habit to something else you're already doing, that is going to increase the speed with which you adopt this new habit. So this is all research that's based on BJ Fogg's work and also appears in James Clear's book called Atomic Habits. So if you wanted to geek out and look into the research on that, great. If you don't feel like looking at the research and you just want to take my distilled nutshell version of it, even better. I'm happy with that. So I hope that that makes sense and I hope that, that helps you build new habits.